Hey also guys, I'm back with another Sony Vegas tutorial for you today and in this video I'm going to demonstrate four different ways that you can add cinematic black bars to your videos just like the one you see on screen now. Okay, so a lot of people do black bars differently. I'm going to show you four of them and the first one is click on the pan and crop feature. This one's real quick. Just drag these bars in and oh, there you go. Don't make it too thin, don't make it too thick and well, drag this up to get rid of it. You've got a lot of flexibility with what you want to do and now we're going to right click. We're going to delete that because now I'm going to show you another way which is drag in a source media of a sort of a white color block. Uh, this one's fine. Uh, you click on your pan and crop feature again, add in your black bars, hit the X, and I forgot to multiply mask, and there are your black bars once again. Now we can go ahead and delete this track because it is no longer needed. We are going to click the effects sort of deal shitty fucking thingy over here. Go to the cookie cutter, hit OK, and I already have a preset set up which I call letterbox because that's pretty much what it is doing here. You can copy the settings here. So we just have the X on 10, this is on square, this is on cut away. Then I'm going to scroll over here and then my settings of these ones as well. You can just copy them down and that's pretty much about it for the video. There is one more way where we are going to just add in another video track where you can just download them off the internet. I just downloaded this PNG just before I started this video and it works just fine. I mean, I'll disable the effect here, so if I mute that, it's gone. I just drag this out for the rest of the row. Unmute the track, and my black bars are there completely fine. That's just about going to do it for this video, guys. So, I'll see you guys in the next video, and peace. <laughs>